Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on C++. I am Deepak Nyal. In previous tutorial, we discussed about various types of inheritance like single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical and hybrid after that. And then we discussed a problem which is called diamond problem or deadly diamond of death. So that basically arises when we are using multiple inheritance. And it's an ambiguity that arises when two classes B and C inherits from a class A and then class D inherits from both B and C. So if there are some methods in A that B and C have overridden and D does not override it, then it's very confusing or ambiguous that which version D should call, right? Or which version should D inherit? So we are going to discuss that problem now in much detail and also discuss its solution, right? So you can go to the Wikipedia page regarding solution of this and it talks about virtual inheritance. So it's a technique that ensures that only one copy of base class member functions or member variables is inherited by grandchild derived class. Without this virtual inheritance, if two classes B and C inherit from class A and then class D inherits from both B and C, then D will contain two copies of A's members, right? One will come through the B and another will come through C. And these uh, both of the members you can access independently using scope resolution operator. But we are not uh, going to do that. Instead, what we are going to do, we are going to use virtual inheritance. And if classes B and C are inheriting virtually flow from class A, then object of class D will contain only one set of member variables or member function from class A, right? So you can read all these details here. I am going to discuss the implementation now. So let's move to the editor. Okay, so I have created a file for you with the name diamond. You can see green on the left side. So what I'm going to do, I am going to create some classes here. So first class is person class and it will have a constructor with the name person and will pass a simple message here which says person called. Now we are going to copy this whole class and I will make it four copies. After that, I will create a driver program, which is main and make object of grand child class here. So actually these are four same copies. So I will change their name. One is student and I need to make constructor as student message as student. Now I have faculty class. I will copy it here. Now the last class is TA class and I have to write TA here and TA here as well. So these are simple four classes, right? Now we will talk about inheritance. So I am going to inherit person class here. Similarly, I am going to inherit person class here and in TA as it is inheriting from both the classes, student and faculty. So we have to write a student here and faculty here. Okay, so this access mode is necessary here. Otherwise, inheritance will become private. Uh, now let's create object of this TA class. Now go on the right side and compile this program. Program has been compiled successfully. Now run this. And here you can see that person is getting called one time, then student is getting called, then person called, faculty called, and then TA called. So how it is happening? When we created object of TA, it has called constructor of student first. Then it goes to student and here it calls person constructor. When it comes back, it again calls faculty. Faculty calls person and then TA is called after that. So you know this order from uh, previous lectures, right? So there is nothing new. Uh, one important thing that I'm going to add here is that I'm going to pass some value here in TA. Maybe we can pass 10. So for that we need constructor which is parameterized. So I will make it int value. And if I have int value here, I need to pass it above. So how can you do that? We have to write student, then value here, then comma, then another class faculty and value here as well 
so when it calls its previous classes so we have to write int value here as well here as well and here as well but from the faculty you need to call base class constructor which you can call like this person and then pass value from here I will copy this because same thing we have to write in a student class as well now what can you do you can print this value in every constructor I will copy this whole thing because it's same in every class right and here as well now run this program again and see how it behaves so person called 10 student called 10 then person faculty and TA so everything is same except that we have a value now all right so in both these programs you can note one important thing whether it is default constructor or parameterized constructor the person is called two time even if you make destructor here it will call it two time so it means that object TA has two copies of all the members of person it's not only about constructor if you make some other members there maybe int x y and so on and then some member function these are going to be called two times and why did so because you have a path coming from above right you have uh, a class then you have two classes b and c which are inheriting from a so actually b is getting some copies from a then c is getting some copies from a and when d is inheriting from both these classes it is getting multiple copies and this is the ambiguity we need to solve so the solution to this problem is virtual keyword we have to make the classes faculty and student as virtual base classes and that's how we can avoid these two copies of person in TA class clear so how we are going to make that so here you have to put virtual keyword it is very simple solution we are not doing much you can see whole thing before that we have written was a problematic thing now we are solving it clear so everything is uh, clear now we are not doing anything else we have just put a virtual keyword here now try to run this program I am compiling this okay and there is some error so just read this error and try to find out what error it is just pause the video for 5 or 10 seconds or maybe you can take 30 seconds if you are pausing the video then just uh, read this and tell me the answer why it is happening what is the problem here you can see the program on the left and answer or output on the right so I hope you have got the answer till now if you have not got the answer you can listen me so th there is the first line which is uh, telling us about the error it is saying in constructor TA there is some error which is no matching function call to person person so I will make it smaller so that you can uh, read this statement clearly so it is saying no matching function call to person person that means it is trying to call default constructor of the person class so let's try to add a default constructor here and then see whether it solves the problem or not I will put default in front of this now I will run the program again I will clear everything so program is compiled successfully now and you can see default person is being called and you can see that we have got only one copy of the person constructor after that we are getting a student call 10 faculty call 10 and then TA call 10 so actually the problem we were referring in the beginning of this lecture has been solved now and now we have only one copy and how we solve that problem by just using this virtual keyword right we have not used anything else everything that we have written before we are learning that from the beginning of this series but only one new thing we have learned today that we have to add virtual keyword to to avoid these multiple copies in the grandchild of the classes clear but one new problem you have got here and that new problem is that when we created a default constructor here it is called successfully but when we had a parameterized constructor that was not called so what is reason behind that okay so the reason behind this is when we use virtual keyword the default constructor of grand parent class is called by default even if the parent class is explicitly called parameterized constructor so what we are going to do here now we are going to solve this problem in some another way 
right and for this way what you have to do you have to call parameterized constructor of this class from the grandchild class so actually this is not allowed anywhere else but if you are using virtual keyword you can use this so what you have to do you have to use person and then you have to pass value from here now we will run it again and see the output and now you can see you are able to call parameterized constructor of the grand parent class see here so this is how we learned all these things we started with some problem then we solved those problems then we got some another problem and then we solved that right so in the beginning we were talking about the diamond problem we use virtual keyword then we talked about this parameterized and non-parameterized constructor and we solved it by calling that parameterized constructor from the grandchild class right okay so i hope you have got an idea about the way this virtual keyword or virtual inheritance is solving the problem uh, but i want to know one thing from you how exactly does this virtual inheritance solve the problem all right i think you got my question so i mean actually virtual keyword is solving this problem but how it is doing internally right there should be some mechanism or there should be some way of doing that right so what you can do you can uh, read about this i will give you a hint that uh, there is a v table pointer and that's a implementation detail actually you can find about that and uh, tell me in comment that how it is uh, doing so clear so i think this is enough for this lecture if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can write in the comments and i will try to respond back as soon as possible so see you in the next video guys till then thank you so much bye bye